Hello, this is The Provoked Prawn and this is Cuisine Royale. This is a tips video to talk about fridges. We're going to talk about the different fridges and what you get in them and which ones you should look out for and what you should avoid taking from them. Now, the most common fridges are the white ones. You'll see them around a lot. Basically, they just give you a little bit of food and a small bag. Lots of easy food to get and it's worth having food and get as much as you can. Sometimes you'll see other bits of armour in there. You can see bunny slippers of bounce and a helmet in this one for example. Brody helmet's pretty good, that's worth taking. So it is worth opening these fridges and you'll find them scattered around the map in various places and you'll get to learn where they are. You'll see fridges appear quite often in different places. There's also worth knowing that there's a new trap that you can lay down which basically lays down a fake fridge that when you open it it just disappears. So if you see a fridge in an unusual place then it's probably not a real one and it might be a trap that an enemy have set. So that's worth bearing in mind. The next sort of fridge, the next one up from that is red fridge. The red fridge is a bit better, you get a bit more better loot in there. You can see immediately there's a medium bag, you also get various other things including a Cuban cigar, which is worth having, and then a choice of things. So there's the oxygen tank, Cuban cigar, and the Nimbus. I like the Cuban cigar because it gives you extra hit points. The Nimbus is basically used if you're in the blue, and that's not that great. Here you can see it, this one had some medium body armor in it, and level one, and a bunch of food. Take as much food as you can, and then move along. Once again, you'll find these scattered around the map. They are a bit less common, but you'll still see them quite a bit. You can see, again, slightly different things than this one. Knee pads of speed, very good bit of equipment. Medium bag and head armor mark two. And sometimes you find the fridges indoors, so you might find surprise fridges inside. There's no trap for other fridges other than white at the moment, so you won't find fake red ones around, which is good. And extra food is always worth having. Another example of one indoors. I like the red fridges because you can basically get everything out of them that you need. You know, there are some fridges that you get stuff from that you don't necessarily need it all, and I'll show you that in a second. The black and gold fridge, for example, has some really unnecessary things in it that are worth leaving rather than taking. Now, fridges are great because it's different to PUBG. They're not called in or by anything. They're not dropped from the sky or anything like that. Will make it obvious, and so. They're quite well hidden. Now here's the black and gold one. These are quite rare. You won't see them very often. They have lots of different things in them that are worth getting. But some things are worth leaving behind. You can see it has a large bag. Now you note the Royal Hunt Duck. These are huge and they take up loads of inventory space. So I tend to avoid taking them. They do give you the most amount of health, but they take up loads of space. You'll also note cool things like the Uber Pan of bullet deflection. That's very effective. And a mix of other equipment including the Nimbus and the knee pads. Again, it's going to vary depending on what you get, but the Nimbus is probably worth leaving. Take the knee pads and the Cuban cigar. And then you have the camo fridge. This is one of the top ones, very rare. It has awesome armor in it, the best armor in the game, the assault vest, an AK, another large bag, which is a slightly different color to the gold one, but is actually the same, the black and gold one and the camo one is the same size, just looks slightly different. Now, if you see someone else with this gear, you can identify it quite easily, that body armor and the camo bag. It's worth noting that because then you'll know that they have an AK and that's a pretty dangerous weapon. It's probably one of the best guns in the game. And then the final one is the orbital fridge, which I've done a video on before, that you need to use the flare gun to call in. So this is really hard to get hold of. That does come in from the sky. And so it basically calls in anybody in the surrounding area and you need to be really careful when you're looting it because it is basically a magnet for all enemies. Unlike all the other fridges that you find, you probably won't get attacked while you're opening them because it's very rare for people to suddenly know where a fridge is and charge towards it unless it's in the open. So you don't need to be as cautious, but with this one it makes loads of noise and gives off a big smoke signal. And inevitably you'll find yourself swarming with baddies. So this has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please check back for more on soon. I'm going to be doing some more Cuisine Royale tips videos and general fun videos. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to see.